Hey guys, it's Julia. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'm going to be recommending to you guys some spooky shorter books. I've done a lot of videos like this in the past, whether that's like for the recommendations, spooky recommendations, whatever. I'll link all those videos down. Anyway, my goal here is to recommend you guys some spooky books that are all under 300 pages. I have five here picked out and then I have a few honorable mentions. So let's jump right into it. Up here I have Tastes Like Candy by Ivy Tholen. So this book I picked up because it is my friend Allie's book club pick, Tiny Terror book club pick for the month. So I wanted to pick it up and read it. I had no idea what this was about. I, I didn't know. I just picked it up. I heard it was scary. That's, that's all I needed. Basically these girls have a scavenger hunt going on, they all get invitations to it, and it's about eight girls that go to a carnival after hours, sneak in, break in pretty much, and then, you know, shit hits the fan. Everything hits the fan. Uh, there's a killer on the loose. It's a slasher novel, which I don't think I've read a slasher novel before. It's like, this was really cool. I, there is a lot of like blood and gore in this, obviously, so if you don't like descriptions of, you know, like hearing someone's head get smashed in type of stuff, maybe don't, maybe this is not for you. But like, if you're okay reading kind of like a slasher book that has like detailed descriptions of what's happening to them, then I recommend this. <laughs> Overall though, I was surprised how graphic it was because I didn't really know what to expect. And then we got to one scene and I was like, oh, oh my. So yeah, I, I personally really liked it. I thought it was great. If you're looking for something like carnival-esque, a bunch of friends, uh, all fighting for their lives. And then it also has like, you know, bits and pieces throughout it of like the girls' friendships with each other, how they met and that whole thing. I also really liked the main character, Violet, and just like what, watching her and the other characters just try to survive this was, was a wild ride for sure. I definitely recommend this if you want something gory or slashery. Next up here, I have The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon by Stephen King. Then I like, as I was putting this list together, I thought, okay, we need those, the woodsy ones. So the next one is also a woods type of story as well. This edition is 256 pages. Follow a nine-year-old girl who is stuck in the woods. Her name is Trisha. She has a Walkman with her. And like the only thing that she has to give her comfort is listening to the Red Sox game. And then specifically the pitcher, Tom Gordon, who she loves. So this story just kind of narrates like a child being lost, like her perspective of what's going on and how terrifying this is, but also trying to find comfort in something that she does have. This one's very atmospheric. I have lis I listened to the audiobook of this when I read it, I believe, and it was it was great. It was great. I recommend. I have Be Not Far From Me by Minnie McGinnis. I think this was on my favorites list a few years ago. Like a YA mystery. It's coming in at 231 pages, for at least for this edition. It's about a girl named Ashley who goes hiking with her friends and her boyfriend and everyone, and they're all having a nice party in the woods. Uh, and then she catches her boyfriend cheating on her and she's obviously in distraught and upset and she runs away and then gets lost in the woods. And then she can't find anybody and she's screwed. She's stuck. So it kind of follows her trying to get out and all the stuff that she goes through, how she's feeling considering what she just kind of witnessed. Uh, there's a lot of things. This one is definitely one I still think about. I also think I listened to the audiobook of this. It's what I still think about. It's the one I've compared to Tom Gordon. Like obviously Ashley's not like a teenager. She's not nine, but I still find both of them just really interesting. And I like stories that take place in the woods for some reason. This is one that I've talked about a lot. If you guys have been here for a while, I'm sure you've heard me talk about it, but it's The Grown Up by Gillian Flynn. Uh, this is only 67 pages. Basically our main character is making a living off of faking being a psychic. She acts like one, tells people what they want to hear, gets money, basically a con artist at that point. She meets this woman named Suzanne Burke who lives in a Victorian old, old, old house. And Suzanne begins to think that there's a spirit haunting it and our main character, doesn't believe in ghosts or anything. So she goes into the house, but she feels something when she goes in. She feels something like this, something's wrong with this place. So it's about them kind of uncovering all of that. I love this book. I've read this twice, I think. Two, three times, I don't know. It's phenomenal. I love Gillian Flynn, personally. Where's where's her next book? I want, <laughs> I want another book by her so bad. Um, but yeah, this is a great short story. I definitely recommend it. Super quick, read. If you've read it, let me know what you thought of it. I'd love to know. And lastly, here before the honorable mentions, we have And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. This edition is 284 pages, so again, kind of close to our 300 mark. 
Basically, this is like the most iconic, like one of the most iconic whodunit books ever. So this is 10 strangers that were all lured to this isolated island that has a mansion on it. And they start dying one by one and they have to figure out who done it, who's the killer out of these people. Love it. Fascinating. A classic, truly. My, my honorable mansions. Talked about these so much in the past. The graveyard book. Iconic. This dude, this boy, young boy lives in a graveyard and he was raised by ghosts. Super great, atmospheric, easy read for sure. Coraline, also by Neil Gaiman. Love. If you've seen the movie and you haven't read the book, I recommend it. It's pretty great. The one I recommend the most out of anything, probably. The Telltale Heart. If you haven't read this story, I can't even, I don't even tell you what it's about without <laughs> spoiling all of it, but the Telltale Heart is an iconic story. One of my favorite stories of all time. And then I also have City of Ghosts, and it's about a haunted girl and her cat. It's a middle grade. It's really cute. So there you guys have it. Those were some of my recommendations. Let me know some of yours down below. If you know anything that's similar to the Tastes Like Candy book that I recommended, please let me know. I would love to read books similar to that in the future. Um, yeah, but I hope you're having a good October, and I'll see you guys soon with a new video. Bye!